What is up, my dudes? Welcome back to Salt and Sacrifice with me, Offbeat. This is Offbeat Gaming. This will, I believe, surely be the final episode for Salt and Sacrifice. I already came up here and opened up this new shortcut using the essence of fire on a door above. I apologize, you missed that, but we are now in the Imperfect Shrine, which I believe has to be the end of the game. Because it sounds very final. The door I opened was over there, I think. Or, no, no, it was it was up here on the right, past that guy. So, imperfect shrine. So, to my understanding, the top of the shrine, I think, houses the final boss. And then I get to make the choice on which ending I will receive. Because, like any Souls-like, there's two endings, and you have to determine, well, there's more than one ending, I should say, there's not always just two, but there's more than one ending, and you have to determine which one you want. How do you want your story to conclude? So we're just going to keep using our essences to climb the imperfect shrine. And in doing so, make our way to fight the final boss. It's It's been a long time, it's been a long journey, and honestly I'm kind of excited to see how this all ends. Because, I mean, we saw, we saw my head transform and like, straight up, I mean I know it's said, it's always said like Mage Devoured, hi dude. The gods damn sacrificed their third, their due, the cannot, this cannot be truncated. One believed that he could end this other cycle, become the sacrifice, arrogant, came from the mountains from Dreadstone Peak, became a vessel for the gods' wrath, overflowed, spilled, arrogant, a mortal against the gods. So... Fuck, I lost my train of thought because of that guy. Um... We saw... When I drank that elixir to see the truth, when I tried to eat that deep, like, it's always said, mage devoured, but like, I straight up, my head turned into some kind of creature thing, and I ate that fucker's heart. There's a husk atop this place, mortal like you, a sylvan, form the mountains. This shrine is a purpose, and his will was to subvert it, to be a levy, steadfast against the waters of divine judgment. What mind this mortal possessed was destroyed long ago, scattered like ashes scattered by the gods. When the mind broke, so too did the levy. The levee broke and the flood consumed all. So now we're getting some backstory. I don't know, for the record, how many attempts this fight's going to take me. I just know that this is the end. Shit, I hate these segments because I'm not very good at them. Ah, oh, thank God. Hey, a place to rest. So up here is door. Okay, so that continues further upward. So what is to the left then? Just some collecting stuff, some some uh, harvestings. I don't know if this video will be very long, but in the event that the boss is just super hard because it's the final boss, I wanted to give myself ample time to fight him. The one at the top of the imperfect shrine is only a husk, but he now serves a purpose. From the ruins of his mind, a madness swells, spreading like miasma through the kingdom. Those who listen hear his whispers, but the voices are not his. Many are tempted, many seek power. They follow the whispers, and their greed transforms them. And so mortals became vessels of divine wrath, mages. When you reach the top of the Imperfect Shrine, what will you do? Cut down the suffering sacrifice? And then what? The gods demand sacrifice. So, obviously I can become the new sacrifice? Is Sounds like an option. Up oh, there he is. That's the fight right there. <sighs> Here we go, guys. Here we go. Get down here. The Undone Sacrifice. Ah! Ow! 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 
Okay, yeah, he's he's pretty painful, but I might actually be able to beat him in one shot. Ah! Oh! I spoke too soon. He is very evil. At. At. Suddenly I can't get any hits on him. Fuck. That, that grab is insanely awful. Do I get to eat you too? Ow, oh, that grab. That grab. Oof. It's not. Ugh. It's not impossible. It's very painful though. Alright, he I think I got this. He's dead. He is super dead. Next 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 swing. Next swing! I get to eat you! Hell yeah! Yeah, that. That happened. Um. Climb or devour? So, climb. Climb is to become the new sacrifice, because I will ascend the tree, obviously. I'm a fucking eat it. I've eaten everything. Eat the fucking tree. What have I done? Okay. I did not anticipate to be done with the video that quickly. Uh... I expected much more... Ah. I expected much more... of a fight. I expected much more traversal. I obviously could have finished this in the last video. How long was my last video? How long was it? Was I... How, because this right now is only taking me like seven minutes. My last video, my last video, was 43 minutes. I could have, I could have done all of that. I could have done the entirety of the end of this game in that one last video, and I apologize. That's unfortunately the risk you take when you get close to the ends of games. But all in all, I'm glad that I could present the amount of time necessary to beat the game in this video. Sorry. Okay. Or no, Sony. I thought that said sorry. That says Sony. All right, cool. Nice. I'm not an idiot. Uh, so, I don't think, I don't think, uh, I think this game will probably jump right into New Game Plus, so I don't think I can go back and do the other ending without playing through the entire game again, and as much as I would like to do that, I obviously wouldn't be able to do that within the span of my recording times. That said, I love this game. I find it to be a very worthy successor to Salt and Sanctuary. I, at first, was very uncertain how the literally no other way to put this, but Monster Hunter mechanics would play out. In actuality, I wasn't really, uh, really certain how that would feel in the overall Souls-like setup that we have, but you know what? I dig it. it. They made it work. They made it all work, so... I'm glad I was able to wrap this up, only for the fact that obviously we have Trials of the Dragon King for Strangers of Paradise. I will be picking that up immediately starting this weekend, as well as the Blue Sun DLC for Hellpoint, which I don't know if anyone remembers or has seen my videos of Hellpoint but that was a Souls-like set in space 
where you were orbiting a black hole, causing all kinds of weird, crazy shit to happen. Kind of like Event Horizon. And that's all she wrote. Salt and Sacrifice. So look forward to more content. I have a lot more down... I have a lot more planned. I have a lot more games that I can play. So I'll always have something to post. My upload schedule is kind of spotty. It's just whenever I can find the time to do it, unfortunately. I know I was very regular for a long time, but... At this point, I just, I take the time when I can get the time. It, what else can you do, right? So, thanks for following me on this journey. I hope you love the Salt series as much as I do, and I hope they make a third game. Love you all.